Welcome back to my YouTube tutorial. This is Avian Graphics. On this particular tutorial, we are going to learn how to design a clothes business flyer or a poster in Photoshop like this. Let's get to our Photoshop and let's get it down. So first of all, I have just launched my Photoshop just like this. So the first thing I'm going to do over here is to create my document that I wish to use. So I click on file, then I'll wait for it to be created. So just like this. So on this particular sub panel, what I need to do is to change this, click over this place and I change it to what? To inches. Then when I do that, I'll click the width, I'll make it 90 sorry nine and then the height i'm just going to make it 12 and then the resolution i'll increase it to somewhere 300 and that'll be okay and then i'll change the name to clothing's business flyer or a banner that will be okay then i'll click on create then we have something like this over here so I have created my document size with 9 by 12 inches. So the next thing I'm going to do is to design the background. I just want to design the background so that uh, the background I'm just going to use. You get that? So the first thing I'm going to do is to come and click on shape over here. Then I'll pick a shape called rectangular tool over here. Then I'll just draw something like this over here. Not that too big, or but it should be somewhere this right away. Then, after having something like this over here, the next thing I'm going to do is to draw another one down here, just like this. And then, on this, I'm just going to change the color to this particular color down here. All right, so this color is, um, is okay. I'll use this color. And then the top color, I'll use the orange color uh, over here, and that'll be okay. You get that? Yes. So I just want it to be simple and uh, catchy. So I'm just going to import in a background that I downloaded uh, from Pinterest. So this particular pattern background that I just downloaded. So I'm just going to use this particular this thing to do the design we get that yes so i'm going for it to okay let's have something like this and the next thing i'm going to do is to transform it by this way and then i'll just move it to the top and then i'll click okay and the next thing again i'm going to do over here is to bring it over here and then i'll right click and create a clipping mask on that particular distance and then i'll change the blending mode from normal to somewhere uh multiply that'll be okay then maybe i'll try and reduce my opacity a little bit so that it will go down yes that this looks so cool you get that yes and the next thing again i'm going to do over here is that i am just going to uh on this particular distance on this particular distance i'm just going to add a distance to it and noise to it so i'll go to filter then i'll come to noise now add, I'll click on add noise, you get that. So I'll rasterize it just like this. And then I'll give it this, the noise should be mono. I'll click on this mono, you get that. So you can zoom out to see your work and then you can increase it as you want, you get that, yes. So if this is okay, this is almost 30. And then I can see it's too much. I just want it to be to look somehow okay. I think um, 16 will be okay for me. Then I'll click okay. You get that. And the next thing again I'm going to do is to group this one just like that by Control G to group. Then I'll name it BG. That's what that's background BG. You get that. Then I'll lock the layer. The next thing again I'm going to do is to. Uh, go over to my details this thing then I'll pick up the name over here and then I'll just come and paste it over here I'm just going to paste it over here just like that and then I'll change that color to the down color over here and then I'll pick up the brand copy so the name is LM modest brand 
you get that then i'll have something like this somewhere like this okay and then i'll change the font names the different uh fonts that will be okay for me you get that then i'll reduce it a little bit it's somehow bigger yes you get that so i'll just have it something like this all right and then um i'm just trying to get a font uh it's a, a beautiful font for this so let me see which font should i use let me see this one now make it this way okay i think this, this is okay for me you get that and then on this particular distance i'll change that particular font to the pro vicali that'll be okay that's the font name pro vicali okay that then i'll have this and then i'll have that over here you get that that looks so nice and the next thing again i'm going to do over here is that i am just going to uh, pick up this deals in ladies cloth uh, ladies cloth okay she all deals in ladies cloth okay and that one i'm just going to use nexa nexa i'm changing the font to nexa then i'll try and reduce it a little bit down so that it will be uh, okay somewhere just in ladies okay sorry so just in ladies clothes all right clothes all right so this is okay for me you get that then i'll move it somewhere here then i'll try and move it down and then i just want to have it just like this you get that yes this looks so cool for me and then the next thing again i'm going to do is that i just want to work out with the font uh, with the text before we can do the arrangement of the distance you get that so i'm just going to paste it somewhere here and then i'll change the color to this color over here so that it will appear for me you get that so over here i'm just going to give it a shape just like that and then i'll move it over here then i'll change the font color to this particular color over there okay that'll be okay and the next thing again i'm going to do is that i'm just going to group this i'm just grouping this like this i'm just grouping it just like this okay and that's why i'll call it location and then i'll try and move it i'll try and adjust it or transform it a little bit down to somewhere there then i'll click ctrl g to duplicate it and then move it to the side and then on that i'm just going to change the right up there to contact just like this and then i'll zoom out and then i'll have it this and then i'll increase the size a little bit so that it will show up very well for me 24 24 that'll be cool just like this you get that and then i'll call this one contact then i'll have something like this over there then i'll group the contact and the location then i'll click then i'll type ctrl a to align it to sector it just like this and then i'll try and zoom out uh, sorry i'll try and transform it a little bit out okay then i'll move it to somewhere here that looks so cool so the next thing i'm going to do is to put in the images so first of all my composition should be like this i just need a composition like this this is so cool you get that that's cool and then i'll give it a stroke of this color a stroke of this color is okay then i'll increase our increase the size a little bit 
whilst you stay is okay for me. Then, the next thing again I'm going to do over here is to import in my image. So first image I'm going to import is this. That one looks so beautiful and she looks so beautiful over there. You get that? So I'm just going to right click him, create a clipping mask there. Then I'll try and transform it a little bit so that the crop there will appear nicely. Just like that. Alright. Like this. I think this is cool. So I have something like this over there. And next thing again I'm going to do over there is that I'm just going to import in an image. Alright, let me start with this. Then I'll try and reduce it a little bit down to somewhere here. And then I'll give it a shape over there too. Just like this. Shouldn't be that bigger. Okay, I think this is okay. And then I'll try and right click on the image and create a clipping mask in. And then on this one, I'll also give it a stroke of the same color. Let me make it 100 and see. Okay, let me use somewhere 150. It's okay, 150 is okay. Then I'll have it something somewhere like this. This looks so cool. So the next thing again I'm going to do is to group it. Then I'll duplicate it and move it down here. Just like that. You get that? This looks so cool. And then I'll have it like this. I'm just duplicating it just like that. And then this one, I'll move it a little bit here. And then this one, it should follow up somewhere like this. We get that. Yes. So this, I'm just going to change the image there to this. Let me transform it a little bit by holding control. Uh, sorry, alternate. Just like this. And then I'll have it just like this. You get that. And then over this, I'll just change that one to, to this. And then I'll move it a little bit over there. Then I'll right click and create a clipper mask in. Just like that. You get that. I just I just I just want to show up the products or the clothes that she has, the types and those things. You get that. So the next thing again I'm going to do is to add the fourth image, which is this. Just like that. And then I'll create a clipping mask in. Then I'll transform it a little bit down so that this particular uh, modern uh, sandals will show up just like that. So this looks so cool. So the next thing again I'm going to do over here is that I'm just going to copy the two uh, in the two layers one and this Control J and then I'll move that one down here. You get that somewhere here is cool. So let's move this our contact and this thing down just like that. You get that. So we are changing this the fifth image. So I'm just going to import in the fifth image, which is this. All right, I'm just importing it just like that. So this particular flyer or banner is just going to be very, very simple. No much colors, only two colors selected in this particular tutorial, just like that. And then the last image. All right. So let's 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 just put in the last image, which is this. All right. This way. 
so I can right click and create a clipper mask in so there is the last image that I'm just importing in so this looks so cool so when we have something like this over here what I need to do over here is that I'll go to the background on this I'm just, I'm just going to hold uh, control and uh, shift and then move it somewhere here that'll be okay for me it's transforming okay so the next thing again I'm going to do over here is that is to change or check my arrangement of the images so let's have something like this over this I'm just going to group it Control G and then I'll give it I'll give out a guideline so that I'll have my composition to follow what I'm doing. You get that? So this one should follow. That looks so cool. And then this one should also follow this. So this cool. So I can have something like this. So I'm just going to hold my alternate and then I'll move it down a little bit just like that and then I'll have it top cool you get that so on this particular distance I'm just going to transform it a little bit down so that it will match with this you get that and then I'll come over here then reduce Okay, so I'm just going to see. Look, as we can see, this one is not much. So I'm just going to um, let it match with this. Sorry, this this match here. Yeah. Okay, this is cool. So we can have something like this over there, and then on this. I'm just going to move it a little bit over here and then the next thing I'm going, I'm going to do is to have all the images grouped in just like that then I'll call it uh, items then I'll just call it items sorry just like that and then I'm just going to right click and then I'll click on blending options where I can give it uh, a shadow, some pop up shadow, just like that, not that too distant. So, this is okay. Then, let's have something like this. This looks so cool. So, I'll move this one a little bit here, then the brand name and then just in should be somewhere there that looks so cool so beautiful so and then i can have all my work grouped in just like that and now over this particular distance i'll move it a little bit so that i'll have some space there okay some space there that looks so cool so we are saving our work just like that you get that yes so on this particular distance I'm just going to change the stroke to this color then this also change the stroke to this color so that that particular stroke there can easily appear for me you get that yes and then I'll try and move out my listing over here to somewhere there and then all right let me wait for it to transform so sorry so these two uh, these two images I'll move it a little bit I'll give it give it out a space so this 
come fix up over this place and then I'll try and move this one a little bit let me zoom out so that I can see what I'm really moving okay so let's see so over here sorry so this place is okay so this can easily move to this place so we can have something like this over there yes and then let me on up my shadow over there to appear and this looks so cool so this is how we design clothes business flyer or poster or banner in photoshop it's very simple and catchy thank you very much for watching this is avian graphics and have a nice day